Hello viewers, this is Solomon the Stars, and welcome back to Let's Play Robotrek. Let's go this way today, shall we? Oh god, my emulator's uh, lagging a little bit. It's not really that noticeable, but still, it's... But oh god, it, it, I don't know. It kind of comes and goes, really, so you may not notice it, but it's annoying the heck out of me. So, in other news, these, uh, beret hackers in this base, they can actually drop shot too. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but, yeah, they can do that. And, oh, there we go. And I forget what the, uh, mini comms drop. I, I really don't know. Alright, well, we have another locked door, but we also have a, a small hole over here. So, as you can guess, we have to turn into a mouse. So, let's hurry on in there, shall we? Yay, I'm a mouse, I'm a mouse again. Mousey, mousey, one, two, three. Let's see what we can find in here. I'm terrible at rhymes, and, oh, hey, look, it's, uh, that guy again, the pumpkin head. It's Jack. Jack O'Lantern. And apparently the Tetron doesn't work. Well, y you think? Why else would everyone be going after it? I mean, wouldn't they just find a different rock instead and... What? Uh, something seems wrong with him. Yeah, it sounds like he's fried. Uh, did you do something to him? Um, jump on the home planet. What are you talking about? Um, what? Oh, crap, they discovered us. Oh, no, no, it's uh, another hacker, of course. Oh, no, and the laser's finished. And they're gonna throw him out with the trash. Just like Luke Skywalker in the uh, fourth episode of Star Wars. Uh, probably not the best reference, but eh. And apparently they can't figure out the Tetron. Yay! So, we're gonna be okay to go there. And, uh, what? Oh crap, they found us out. Abort! Abort! Uh, what? Oh, I guess they don't realize it's us in the... Well, what do you mean? Um... It almost sounds like there's something deeper. Huh. Well, yeah, we won't find about that until... Well, I wouldn't say too much later, but... I'd say maybe in a, a few videos, depending on how well things go. But any, anyway, yay! We get a key. Yay! That's great! Alright, so, something else. We have some inventor's friends here, but... Wait a minute. This is number 10. This is number 11. And, wait a minute. 16? Wait a minute, we found these already, but why are they here? Well, yeah, if you've uh, found these uh, books back at the uh, volcano base, you don't have to worry about them, because there are also copies here, because, um, as you may have figured, we can't return to the volcano base after we blow it up. So, I kind of like that. They give you access to the books after you lose access to them, you know? So... I like that, so, if you ever need those books, and you never found them in the volcano base, you can find them here. So, that's where those are. And now we can go back to the room where this key will actually be necessary, so I'll just meet you over there. I would have really liked if he had at least gave me a chance to say a word. But, yeah, so, I'm through there. It turns out that the, uh... Give me a second here. It turns out you can also get, um, believe it or not, shot three from the, uh, ha the beret hackers here as well. Yeah, it's interesting. You can get both shot two and shot three, and also, you can also find repairs. That's really big right there, so. That's awesome. Just keep that in mind. And, as always, the enemies here are very easy to take down, so let's use that key and go through here. And you know, I really am happy with how I've developed my robots, you know, I mean, Garcia, with uh, what he has right now, his agility makes him pretty much able to uh, dodge just about everything in this area. I mean, well, not just about everything, but it'll be like, whenever the enemies do actually get the preemptive strike to actually attack me, they usually miss. That's awesome. So, between my preemptives... 
and the awesome dodging power of my agility, this game has gotten a lot easier. Blade 4 helps as well. Now let's see if I can sneak past this guy. Probably not going to be able to. Um, let's go for the broke. Ah, crap. Alright, well, let's just hurry and get this uh, cure and head on down here. Uh, I guess the emulator isn't lagging as much as I thought. Okay, I think I want to hurry over and... Darn it, no. Huh. Okay, I think I got through without triggering any more enemies. Although we got new ones. Yay, new enemies. This is a pumpy. It looks like a big wheel, and it is. Um, but if you're doing as well as I am, you can still take them out very easily with, uh with a run attack, with a run, so nothing to really worry about. They're not really a threat if you, although I think they have fairly high attack. If they hit you, it's going to do like teens or something. I, I don't know. Usually I take out these enemies so quickly it really doesn't matter. So we could go over to the, uh, to the right if we want, but you know, let's go ahead and um, head on up because there could be some good stuff up here. Like more enemies. Why not? And more little uh, gift baskets or capsules. Blah. And the more enemies you fight, the more experience you get. And new enemies! Ah. Alright, these are facemen. They are big, they're bad, but like every other enemy in this area, they are not immune to runs. So, there you go. They give a lot of experience though, so if you want to grind, I wouldn't say this is the best place to do so, but they're good enough. And from what I just saw there, they're not really that strong either. I mean only like one hit of damage, wow. That or I'm just that good, alright. So to one extent, I'm wondering if I'm doing this uh, as an okay walkthrough. I mean, I'm showing you all these enemies. In the sense that I'll show you like, oh, here's a new kind of enemy, yeah, but there's a something we can't do here yet. We'll have to come back later there, precisely. Um. Wow. <laughs> that was a terrible battle. Uh, you can't really tell right now because I leveled up just afterwards, but wow, I had such a major brain fart that Garcia actually got destroyed. I'm going to come out in a minute. I allowed one of the robots to die, not on screen, mind you, but wow, it, it was just terrible. I, like, completely exposed myself and, it, oh, wow, I can't believe I let it get that bad. Wow, I, I don't know what to say, viewers. Uh, I've lost my train of thought now. Uh, I think I remember now. It has to do with locked doors and dead ends. But yeah, I think it was where, like I'm saying, I don't know if I'm doing a good walkthrough here. Like, I'm showing you the enemies and everything. But I don't really think, because, because I'm killing these enemies so fast, I'm not really detailing their attacks or... Or actually showing how bad a threat some of these enemies can actually be. I'm just killing them that fast. I I suppose if you're playing like I am, though, I suppose that really isn't an issue. I, I don't know. I I guess just I I guess it just comes. I guess it just comes down to the fact that I just feel. I guess I'm just blowing through this game because I really put a lot in playing this. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it feels like I'm going through this. I'm going through this game so fast. That or this game is nowhere. Nowhere near as long as I thought it was. I don't know. I I suppose it's only. Uh, I suppose we are only in like the uh, video 34 or something. But even so, I don't know, it just feels like it's going real fast. I mean, I suppose, technically, I'm pretty far into the game. I don't know. But yeah, we have a hacker here. Oh, that's not the uh, trash room, it's the prisoner's room, and he can't let us in, and... Well, yeah, I guess our father's in there, and 
We've been separate. Well, I, I guess so. I guess it's all true. Our, his memory is gone. And he gets emotional when he hears stories. And he's someone's child as well. Um, it's gonna take us to our father. Oh, well, what do you know? He's going to, uh, let us in. Seize the day! Carp deum! Alright, let's hurry on in. And hey, it's our father! Hooray! And, uh, what? Um, you'll... What are you talking about? Huh. Something is definitely wrong with our father. I really don't know. But here we can get 20, uh, Avengers Friend number 26 and 27. Which teaches us how to make Blade 1 and Blade 2. Which are both completely useless. So what else awaits us inside this place? Find out next time on Let's Play Robotrek. Soul of the Stars, signing off, running out of time. Have a good day! Yay!